Jason Williams, also known as White Chocolate. This guy was arguably one of the most exciting players to watch in the NBA. And around 2016, he had a son who was getting a ton of attention on social media. But ever since then, we haven't heard anything about his son. So what happened? Jackson Williams, also known as White Chocolate Jr. Jackson is the son of the former NBA star Jason Williams. And at one point when Jackson Williams was growing up, it looked as if he was going to follow in his father's footsteps. However, we haven't heard anything about this kid in three or four years. So where is he at and what really happened? And to get into the bottom of that, you already know, we gotta throw it all the way back to where things started. Around the time frame of 2015 through 2016, this is when Jackson Williams started to gain a lot of hype. He was getting a ton of mixtapes made of him on YouTube and they were blowing up. And as he started blowing up on YouTube, he started getting attention on Instagram, ESPN, Twitter, and every platform. He was only around the age of 13 or 14 when he really started blowing up, so a lot of people were thinking he hasn't even tapped into his full potential. It was very clear and easy to see from the start that Jackson Williams had the same passing ability and IQ as his father. He also possessed really great handles so I can see why people were thinking this kid was up next. But one major thing that I have to throw in there and another thing he possessed from his father was his height. We all know White Chocolate, Jason Williams, whatever you want to call him, he wasn't the tallest NBA player. And for his son, the same thing can be said. When he was around 14 years old and getting a ton of exposure on social media, he was around the same height of the kids he was playing against. And trust me, you guys know, when you're younger, height really isn't a big factor. But as he started getting older, other players started to get taller, and yeah, he really didn't grow as much. So as his high school career started progressing, he wasn't a terrible player, it's just he really didn't do anything that stuck out. And when he was younger, he was getting a lot of attention for his handles and passing ability. And he kind of liked to show off his flashy handles and passes on the court. And that's good and all, but when you get to high school, you really can't do that as much. His passing ability has been pretty good so far in high school and even his IQ. But this guy just really fell off because he doesn't do anything else to stand out. He doesn't put up a crazy amount of points per game and he doesn't rebound very good at all so that definitely hurts him. So he hasn't completely fell off and just been a terrible basketball player, he's just mediocre and it's sad to say but it's the truth. And I really do hate to say this but if he wasn't Jason Williams son, would he have even got that hype in the first place? We don't know. But one thing we do know and it's very clear to see, that hype has completely fallen off. And for a kid who was looked at as the next big thing and the quote unquote next white chocolate, it's going to be extremely hard for him to even get a scholarship at the next level. Now don't get me wrong, I could probably see this kid getting a division 2 or maybe a division 3 scholarship, but a D1, that's going to be really hard for him. And we don't even need to talk about the NBA, that is way too far ahead to think about right now for this kid. So. Can Jackson prove that the hype he got almost five years ago, it was deserved? Or will he prove that all that hype, it was just a one hit wonder? But hey man, with all this being said, that's about gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys learned something. If you are new to the channel, what are you doing? Join the family and hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. And as always, let's be great. I'm out y'all, peace.